Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is called the next chapter of your life. Let's speak, let's see what you may experience next. I'm not looking too far away, more or less a year from whenever you're watching this video. And I want to thank you all who leaves comments or likes my videos. It helps the channel tremendously. Before we start, I'd like to say that this video is sponsored by Keen. Keen is a website where you can find a lot of mediums, tarot readers, astrologers, channelers, I'm sure you heard me talk about Keen before. I worked with them previously. And uh, why I continue to work with them because the experience that I had using Keen myself was very pleasant. The person that I had a contact with was very straight to the point. I used the chat option. By the way, there is call or chat option, whatever is more convenient for you. They answered my questions pretty quickly and everything was straight to the point. What's convenient with Keen that there is always someone online 24 seven. Right now they have a promotion going for any new member it's only $1.99 for first 10 minutes. If you'd like to use this opportunity, remember that you can save up to $99. I'm going to provide a link down below to whoever wants to check out Keen. It's trykeen.com slash Brigitta. The website is pretty easy to navigate. Click get started, choose your psychic, choose intuitively, see who you connect to, and I hope you get the answers that you seek. So let's get back to the video. These are your options. Pile number one is on your left, pile three is on your right. Choose intuitively and I'm going to see you in timestamps. Hello group one people. Let's see what is up with you. The next chapter of your life. How does that look like? By the way, I'm using the El Goliath deck as well as the Golden Foil Tarot. You have the Justice as well as the Two of Swords. Let me tap in. With this I keep getting, there is no more confusion. There is no more compu confusion. What you're stepping into is a mental balance. Mental clarity. is In this next chapter of your life, you are not confused, you're not doubting yourself, you can make beneficial decisions. Decisions that are fair for you as well as for the others involved. I'm also getting freedom. I am free. Finally, I am free. I don't know what this means to you. Maybe you want to leave a situation. Maybe you want to travel. Maybe you want to relocate mm, to a new home. But whatever this is talking about, you're feeling free and you're not feeling restricted anymore. For a lot of you, that restriction, why it was happening or why you felt restic restricted because um, you are playing mind games with yourself. Maybe you are telling yourself, I cannot do this or I cannot see the situation clearly because there was... There were too many voices in someone's head. This could be the advice um, that came from other people um, as well as their own thoughts. Or it could be just a conversation that they kept having in their own heads and everything was a little bit messy. I'm not able to push through my thoughts. I'm not able to make a decision. Um, for others of you, what I'm picking up here, you may sign a contract and this contract will be important for your progress. It could be a new job contract. It could be a contract, um, something that's to do with a house, um, with a house or with investments, um, legalities. There is something that is being signed that changes someone's life around or changes someone's quality of life. Formalities are important in this next chapter of your life. You maybe have started noticing that already. You want to take care of everything. You want to fill in the forms that you may have forgotten about. You almost like you're being prepared to sign a contract. Let's see. I'm going to put these cards right here. Let's see what else. The deck that I'm going to use for you is the Steampunk Tarot. This next chapter of your life screams freedom.
you have the ten of cups you have justice twice wow this is a relationship situation here what we see in um, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people watching this pile got married or renewed their vows or with their partner they have bought something bought something that requires signature something big you are tying a bond or strengthening an existing bond with someone so you gotta you gotta know which which scenario is yours if you're in partnership you are strengthening your relationship by getting something that is important for both of you that's going to improve your quality of life or change your life in some way for others of you you are coming across a person who you want to um, sign a contract with but what I mean in this case, you want to sign up for them. I, I see you. I like you. I'm sure about you. I want us to be together. This could be a soul contract that you are signing. I'm going to adjust the camera slightly. Give me a sec. What do we need to know? Why is this in your next chapter of your life? What do we need to know? Partnership. It's all about partnership, being strong teammates to one another, and dreaming big. Group number one, dreaming big. See, I talked about investments here. There is something to do with you have a, a, a specific sum of money that you want to put somewhere, but it feels like it's important. It's really important. Maybe some of you are saving for the wedding, uh, for engagement ring, uh, for a car, a home, a business, setting up a business, anything like that, anything that's important for both of you. But what cards are saying, this may require a bit, of, a bit more time. And you know this. Make sure that you dream big um, and you do not limit yourself. I can only achieve this. I can only get this amount of money. I can only buy that home. Something new may pop up on adverts that you haven't come across just yet. And you may buy, if we take in this example as buying a house, you may buy a much better home with the same sum of money. But because you don't see that home as being advertised just yet, um, you may be sticking to just mm, it's that's the only option, or I can't get um, I can't get anything better. Your cards are saying nah, you can get something better, but maybe you need to wait a little bit longer or you need more time. Follow the signs. We have synchronicity here with two justices. Life is going to be showing you signs, what needs to be done. Okay. Overall, in this next chapter of your life, what life is going to be teaching you or what's going to be the highlight of it is love and very strong relationships. Being a really good teammate to one another, having each other's back, coming from love, being compassionate and once you do so it feels like you have very strong foundation here then you can dream big you can achieve big things for some of them yes this will require time or maybe patience but you're going to get there do not doubt yourself next chapter of your life We have the moon, we have the chariot, we have the six of cups. Yeah, there is definitely a strengthening of a bond. Bottom of the deck, look, we have the judgment card. It's um, it's like two people jumping on, looks like a plane, <laughs> in steampunk tarot, jumping on the same plane and saying, hey, we're going towards the same direction. 
It feels like I've known you before. It feels like you are family to me. It feels like I can trust you completely. I'm overjoyed and I'm happy that I met you. I want to experience the world with you. I want to see many more things. I want to go places. I want to do so much with you that we haven't done before. Yeah, I split the deck. We have the page of stars. Maybe travel will be involved here. You may want to travel with this person. Uh, you may... Overall, I'm hearing a discussion of a slightly different uh, routine or different lifestyle. You may want to improve on that. I'm getting here. But somehow money is into play here. Some of you may have to save money. Both of you will have to save money in order to make something big happen. Because whatever you've known of before, you were not really happy with it. So you want to improve. You want to do better. You want this to be not just an average relationship or average connection. You're seeking for more. And therefore, you want to make changes. I hope that this made sense. I'm going to extend this reading on Patreon, by the way. If you want to find me there, all links are down below. And thank you for passing by and supporting my channel. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Hey, group two, let's see what we have for you here. By the way, uh, this is the Golden Foil Tarot. This is the El Goliath Tarot deck. We have the Karmic Soul Tribe, the family, <clears throat> and we have the Queen of Wands. Let me tap in. Next chapter of your life, group two. Mm-hmm. In this next chapter of your life, a lot of you are focused on, on your family, especially if you are thinking about having a child or if you have a child already. For some of you, that child is your pet. I wouldn't be surprised if um, you have rescued or bought a pet because I'm seeing an addition to the family. Now, this, if we're talking about kids and if you don't want kids or if you can't have kids, it doesn't mean that this is your child. It could be um, someone in your close circle who's given birth. So I'm just going to say someone. In general, I'm seeing someone who is very focused on the family, um, making sure that everyone is safe, making sure that um, the little one or little ones are taking care of spending more time with them than usual, wanting to spend more time with family in general, wanting to bond with people that maybe you didn't have enough time to bond with or you were lost in responsibilities, there was a lot to do. You are prioritizing in this next chapter of your, of your life family. You care about it, say if you were a workaholic or you were very focused on career, this next chapter of your life is all about family. And this could be chosen family like your friends. But this is more about the little ones. It's about the children. It's about the youngsters. It's about wanting to teach them, to care for them, to show them example. This queen of wands, it seems like she leads by example. She's not going to give a child all the theory only. Whatever she says, whatever she advises, she backs it up. If she says, be brave, or you are brave, she's going to show it in her actions. So the child is watching this queen of wands going through life, being brave herself. She backs it up. She doesn't say something that she doesn't do herself. She shows example. She leads by example. This next chapter of your life is about leadership. Okay? Wanting to be a leader of a pack. Wanting to be a leader in the family. Wanting to be a leader or um, a, um, an example. A good example to someone who's not maybe as knowledgeable. Who's not as strong or not as mature. Being a great example. Let's pull more cards. Let's see what else in this next chapter of your life. <clears throat> I'm going to be using the Tarot of the Angels in case anyone will be asking.
let's see what we got we have the six of swords oh damn going towards success pile number two success and recognition of your leadership skills success and recognition of you helping someone out or being a good example um next chapter of your life is about rewards you're being rewarded for uh investing your time and energy into something that matters a lot into nurturing i'm getting some of you are going to be very nurturing but at the same time you're gonna want to be the best version of self um especially if you wanted to travel or if you wanted to experience a different environment but you're taking someone else on board i'm seeing here um you're not going on your own um i'm hearing i'll take you i'll care for you i'll take you under my wing and let's go on a journey what are these successes about what are these successes about? Mm. Your risk is being rewarded. Taking the leap. <clears throat> Making changes. Even drastic changes for some of you I'm seeing here. Packing your, metaphorically speaking, packing your bags and leaving. Or saying... I want, I want this. What kind of person do I have to be in order to sit on that, thro on that throne? So I'm going to discipline myself to be the person who fits in that throne. Make sense? And for some of you, you're going to be experiencing new shores. I'm seeing new shores in this next chapter of your life travel journeys but keep hearing you're not on your own um you're also being rewarded for caring for those who can't uh, maybe speak for themselves or who are not able to to take care of themselves just yet so this would be mothers fathers you're being rewarded for that um for the uh, job that you're doing because you're really i can't stop i can't let this go you're a really good example to someone let's see what else Mm -hmm. some of you may decide to postpone communication i don't know what that means to all of you i want to postpone communication this this is completely a different scenario from what we talked about Specifically, I'm seeing postponing communication with a family member. For a lot of you, this could be a father figure or a male. I'm seeing that in this next chapter of your life, you're going to be very patient, allowing people to go through their own um, healing, to go through their own lessons. But before maybe you wanted to help everyone, in this next chapter of your life, you understand and you acknowledge when they're going through their own karmic cycle. Or when they're, uh, they have to themselves understand what is their pattern. You you're giving them space if you want to you can talk to me but i'm not the one who's going to be pointing it out you you're supposed to be the one who comes across no comes comes up with realization 
you have to be the one who realizes that. Especially if you're dealing with a grown person. I'm going to mentor, help, lead a child. But if we're dealing here with a grown-up person, I'm hearing, I'm, I'm not supposed to mother you. Or I'm not supposed to be your parent. You have to come to conclusion to make a decision yourself. I'm not going to repeat myself. I'm not going to say anything anymore. I'm just going to sit and watch you go through those, those experiences yourself. I'm not going to be the one who takes away the lesson from you. I know what needs to be done. But you got to be the one who does it. Yeah, aha moment. You see with the Ace of uh, Swords. Aha moment. And somehow this aha moment leads to better health. Decisions will be made in this next chapter of life where someone's health is improving. Because of what steps there are taken. Mm -hmm. Overall, this next chapter of your life feels very independent to me. Um, you have great boundaries. You're a great leader, a great carer for someone. And you're being thanked for those um, traits of yours. Those who have struggled with setting boundaries, this next chapter of your life will highlight that to you again remind you to set boundaries again and how are we reminded of that by a test those we don't we don't always like but we know that they are reminders they are good for us they keep us in check i'm going to extend this on patreon and see what else if you want to join me there all links are down below and thank you for passing by and support my channel until the next one bye Hello, Pal 3. Let's look at your next chapter of your life. This is the Golden Foil Tarot, in case anyone will be asking. You have the Hierophant, and this is El Goliath deck. You have the Shadow Self, the Dark Inner Swamp. Okay, let me tap in. This next chapter of your life, it feels like it's going to be a review of the commitments that you have made. You're going to be looking at, especially, I'm getting a very specific scenario, so I'm going to be talking specifically here. If this is not your reading, it's not your reading. Someone is going to be reviewing if they want to be in the commitment that they are in for a while now. A commitment could be a job, could be a relationship, could be um, commitments that they have promised to themselves. Am I keeping those commitments? Is the commitment that I'm in the one that I want to continue being in? Is my, is my previous decision, wanting to commit to this, something that I want to continue carrying on? Is what I promised to myself a while ago applicable to me now? Do I want to carry on? And if so, what do I want to do in order to improve the quality of that commitment? This could be people, if we jumped into specifics, um, reviewing their contracts, saying, hey, I signed the contract at this job. What is this trying to teach me? Does it feel like I've learned everything I needed to learn here and I'm still staying? Does it feel like the marriage contract I've signed? I keep getting expired. Something is expiring. Do I want to continue? It's like I'm seeing, a, I'm seeing food, a bowl of food in the fridge. Specifically, I'm seeing salad. I don't know why. And... Um, 
You have that salad in your fridge, but you can't eat it anymore because you need to throw it in the trash. It's too old now. Its potential is gone. You won't get any nutrition from it. You're just gonna poison your body if you eat it after expiration date. And it's been there for way too long than it's supposed to be. I'm also getting very random message that in this next chapter of your life, you may feel that you want to tidy a lot. <laughs> it may feel weird. You want to put things in the right places. You want to become maybe a tidy, a cleaner person. Maybe you want to reorganize furniture. Maybe you want to, it's just reviewing the parts of self. Um, what do I want to improve on? Accepting the dark parts of self not neglecting them, not trying to run away from them, just looking at what's, what doesn't sit with you right. Would it be something that you keep carrying on and you know that you shouldn't anymore? Would it be understanding why you act the way you act? Let's pull more cards. And I'm going to be using the steampunk tarot for you. What is this next chapter of your life like? Oh, card on the floor. One sec. We have the Queen of Cups. I want to take this one. Being more compassionate towards yourself and understanding that decision that you made, that maybe you don't want to... carry with you anymore i don't want i don't want that anymore at one point i thought that this was good to me good for me i don't want that anymore so don't think that this is a mistake your cards are saying at some point you needed that you don't need it anymore you can let it go but it doesn't mean that you made a mistake you've learned from it you met your shadow self through this experience A lot of you are letting go of holding guilt in your bodies, carrying guilt, carrying maybe shame or fear. Next chapter of your life. Page of Pentacles. This is a very curious, curious page in this deck. Yeah, decisions, decisions. Next chapter of your life, it feels like you're making a very important decision in your life. What is this about? A very important decision. Oof. Okay. See, some of you are afraid if you make that decision that you're going to be on your own, that you're going to be very hurt, that you're going to suffer in some way. Um, there is truth to this, but at the end of this, what we are seeing here, we have the Nine of Pentacles. You're realizing something that you are doing and you don't want that anymore. You want, don't want to carry that behavior anymore. You don't want to continue and therefore you let it crash. You're like, I need to allow myself to be stronger. And the way for me to be stronger is to look at the darkness of the situation in order to pull light from it. And at the end of this, you have freedom. So you're making a decision that makes you feel free, independent, self-sufficient. Why is this coming through in this next chapter of your life? You're going to recognize in this next chapter of your life that someone 
in your life was sent to you as a very important uh, lesson that eventually leads you towards success. There is one influential person here that we are seeing that that's connected to this. For most of you, this could be um, masculine, but it doesn't have to be. Um, could be just someone who sits more in masculine energy than feminine. Um, someone who is very um, fiery, uh, very creative, loves to probably travel to explore in general. And maybe this is someone who has hurt you in the past or who has made you feel the way that you didn't appreciate, the way you didn't want to feel. But actually here with this Three of Swords, what I'm getting and the Shadow Self, they show, they're show they showing you the part of self that needs to be looked at in order to end the cycle of, of um, codependency. I'm just gonna, um, if that's not yours, that's not yours. I'm gonna mention a couple of things of codependency, of hurting yourself because I chose to do this. I'm not gonna hurt myself anymore, right? I chose to do that, so now I'm not hurting anymore. Um, or maybe they hurt me constantly, so I made a decision and I ended that chapter. I've learned from it. It's enough. I feel like I've taken all that I could from this situation, right? This feels like a healing to me. This next chapter of your life is healing after difficulties. You're also much more patient with yourself. Much more compassionate to yourself. You also may want to do a bit of inner child work, what I'm seeing here. And you realize what was given to you. Um, what was the situation showing is how can you approach your life in a more fair way for both of you or for you in this particular situation? How can I be more fair to myself? How can I be more, more compassionate? How can I have more patience? Oh, and you're also walking towards love. This may be something that's um, further ahead in your future. It doesn't have to be, but with a star card, I'm picking this up. Um, you are becoming, once you make this decision, you're becoming happier. Dreams come true. Double the message. That somehow have a connection to your work uh, or your finances. I wanted to earn this amount of money. And maybe whatever this is, that you are deciding to throw into trash, metaphorically. Once you throw it into trash, then you start noticing how money starts flowing your way. Let me pull one more card from Lisa Powers' deck. What is the shadow cat about? What is the shadow cat about? We're going to read the trigger statement. I never get what I want. Awareness, sandalwood, true statement. I am a powerful creator. Listen to your inner voice. Release your ideas of the outcome you wish to see and trust that you are aligned with the universe. Mm, maybe some of you believe that you never get what you want and you went through life with that belief. Probably I won't get it or probably I should stick to this because I can't, I can't have it better. And um, you are just lying to yourself here. Some of you may be very drawn to sandalwood scents recently. That's just something that I'm picking up for a couple of you. We also have inspiration. Trigger statement, I am tired of it all. True statement, I find strength in my purpose. We had strength cards somewhere somewhere there. Please rest and know that in this stillness, you will find clarity around your purpose here. The need to cope will fall away as you find the question you are the answer to. You are the answer to. That's why you have the shadow self. So you're digging deep in this next chapter of your life. You're reviewing your contracts and you're deciding if you want to keep them, if you want to renew, you renew them, if you want to rip that paper and throw it into trash. And I'm hearing enough is enough.
So I'm going to extend this on Patreon, see what's coming through. If you want to join me there, all links are down below. Thank you for passing by and for watching my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Try. Bye.